Sunday morning. We're going for a spin in a little while. We're going to a estate sale right now. See if there's any knives or any treasure around. Lynn's a big garage sale hunter. I don't know if I ever told you about our pigeons, but <coughs> we have two bird feeders right there. And we have a hard time with the pigeons eating the bird food. But that pigeon you see right there, he's been here all day by himself. Usually there's eight or 10 or 15 or 20. And he's like a friendly pigeon. You can almost walk up to him and pick him up. And he's got a band on his leg. You can get close enough to him to see the band. I don't know much about pigeons, but maybe it's a homing pigeon. So I'm looking for comments. What do you guys think? He's got a green and orange band. Green and orange band, Chris says he's got on his leg. Or foot, I guess you call it. Both legs. Got a band on both legs? One of one color, one Oh, it's one on each leg. Okay. Lynn is detecting. I decided to stay home and watch Tiger. I had some honeydews to do and I'm taking a break. We want to say goodbye. Hi, big boo. -boo. Very inquisitive to be a wild cat. Oh yeah, the pigeon, pigeon came back. He's been flying around in the backyard today after I saw him this morning. You know, the homing pigeon I was telling you all about or I have been telling you about. I don't see him right now though. Pretty cool pigeon. Well, I'm getting ready to go. It's sprinkling right now. But I won't melt. Lynn is at the Landonada. I think he's dry sand hunting. I'm not sure when Lynn's leaving. He reminds me of Catman Do. All right, I'll get back to you. I'm going right straight out here by the, on the bay. Breeze from the east. I don't think it's enough to get excited over though. It's too damn rough, look. That's right where I gotta be, right there. 15 feet from here. I'll knock along, I'll knock along here for a while. See if there's anything in this zone right here. I doubt it is though. I ain't never found much in here. for the first target. Ha! I might have to head home. I found nothing but a bottle cap so far. In and out for that little slough right there. And down through here. Stand by. Just deep. You ought to have it, two inches. Twelve oh six solid. I 
knockout gold ring in there. I don't see anything. Wait a minute, maybe I do. Yep, there it is. Looks like a really cruddy penny to me. 1206. That's a fine ticket. Yes, sir, a nice penny. That's what I was looking for, dude. starting to rain right good now and I'm back to the entrance so I think I'm going the heck out of here I got some knives I just picked up about an hour or so ago a block of ten I think I'll sharpen them in the gold rock I'll get back to you well I made it for the monsoon got me it rained like hell for a few minutes but now it's dropped off a little bit you can see it's still sprinkling Look at them eagles up there on the line. I'm waiting for some bird seed. Gang of eagles. No comment. Well, I finished up the knives in the garage. I don't know if I showed you these again or not. I told you about them. Six steak knives, a utility knife, a boner, a chef's knife. And a San Tuco, Hankel Internationals, the one man Hankel. I don't think I showed you the stuff I bought at the uh, estate sale. I bought a Craftsman rotary tool. We went on Sunday, so everything was half price. I paid five dollars for it. I bought a Cutco block with four Cutco steak knives in it. And I paid uh, five dollars for it. The block is worth fifteen dollars alone, and the knives are worth from fifteen to thirty dollars each. So I did okay on that. I'm probably going to put that on eBay in a couple of days or a week whenever I get around to it. And I bought a great big old Navy dive knife. Got an aqua long thing on it. I can't find any name anywhere on it. Other than that the knife itself Hold on a second. My leader's coming in. I might get run over. It says Japan. Stainless Japan on it. It has an Aqualung emblem type thing on it. But no name, no mark, no nothing. And I can't find one on eBay anywhere with this type of handle. Well, I don't know what I got. But I'll probably be able to sell it to gun show. For my get my ten dollars back anyway maybe more okay that's it
I got a uh, text from Jarrett yesterday. Him and the Gig Master went through the. Uh, if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen Gig Master's video, they went to the hole yesterday, hooker diving. And Jarrett said Gig Master didn't find anything but some silver dimes. He found a silver quarter and a silver and a mercury, but he did find two nice gold rings. I mean, not glass rings, just plain. Well, they weren't plain. They were one's got a black stone in it and. I forget what the other one has. The rain has stopped, as you can see. Have to cut the grass tomorrow, Wednesday, I guess. Anyway, I think I'd share that with you. I got a picture. I'll probably put a picture of the rings on here so you can see them. Nice rings. But like I say, if you've seen Gig's video, you've already seen them. But maybe not. I'll get back to you. I had a Navy fella just bring me a nice big Spyderco. CPM S30V. Golden Colorado. Big Spyderco. A nice size Spyderco. Military issue type. I'm going to sharpen it for him tomorrow. He had two actually. He had a, a brand new Scandinavian, Scandinavian grind Spyderco. I never seen one before. He said it's been it's part of the new. It's made in England, but it was a cool little. It was a lot smaller than it. it was probably that long altogether. Scandinavian grind spider. I never seen one, but it was like a razor. I said, man, I can't drop this thing anymore. So he took it back with him. That's all I got. I'll see you tomorrow. As far as I know, goodbye, hello, come in, stand by. <laughs>